So this came in the mail about a week ago. It's huge. Look at this. It's the size of my hand. Look. There. Camaraderie, courage, and competition. So 51 USD from Amazon. It's the uh, the holder. The wedgie holder. So I think so I took the wedges from this one. It's meant to, yeah, it's got this thing at the back, yeah? I think it's meant to go like that. This one goes in there. And this one, in there. See? Not bad, eh? <laughs> Ta-da! Or, like that. So, one over there. This one goes in there. And you can use a green one or the beast, but I did the ultra, so it's a purple one. There. Nice. <laughs> this will go on my new Facebook profile. <laughs> So that's the beast. That's the sprint. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's the sprint. Yeah. What's the blue one? I forgot. Super. Yeah. Super sprint and ultra. There you have it, folks. Yes. Okay, so let's have a look at the race results. Ultra based. The guy who won it, look, 624. Yeah, it's a familiar name. I think he won the last race too. Anyway, I'm somewhere down here. <laughs> let's have a look. G100. 150. No. Okay, so there. Gino De Vera, that's me. 13 hours 16. Open. Open wave. Mail. Let's see the breakdown. Okay, so that's my bib number. 13 hours 16. So there are 166 finishers. And I'm 161. So yay, I beat five people. So I beat four male and one female. I'm second last on my wave. Okay, it's so only 50 people who finished the open wave, the 630 wave. Okay, so that's the start. 631, time of day, 631. So I reached the uh, seven hours cutoff at 656. That's exit, exit at transition, 656. So that was 128. Yeah, that's uh, matches up with my wristwatch. And uh, second lap, which is the beast, 21 kilometer beast, 619. So it overall it ends up at 1900 hours 47. What's 1900 hours? 747, somewhere there. Anyway, so yeah, that was super all right. <laughs> I finished the race. Just barely. I thought I was the last person, but uh, as you can see here, let's scroll down. Okay. Let's have a look here. Uh, 161, open wave over there, see? Well, the funny thing here, here, look here, see? Age group 25 to 29, rank number two. Also here, age group 25 to 29, first. So I beat a, a couple of young guys there, younger than me. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, four. And this is the old guy. I think this is the guy that uh, we finished together. Yeah, so that was it. But And the rest are just DNS and DNF. So there are around 170 I counted here all up. So I don't know what happened with them. 
no show or maybe the cutoff got them who knows i'm glad i'm not one of them this time or this year Woohoo! okay dope all the way down there see dnf dnf plenty all right so that's the race that's the first eight kilometer so we went from there around here up up the hill and uh, down this is downhill all the way okay and this is the beast course by the way they added the two extra kilometers somewhere here so they they didn't follow this format because uh, i didn't see uh, the tyler in traverse it wasn't there also the heavy net this one number 12 heavy net row wasn't there so the extra loop is a penalty they didn't uh, it, do it doesn't add to the official 50 kilometer uh, distance so that was a yeah a, a sort of a punishment because those two obstacles number 12 net net crawl and the tyler and traverse wasn't uh working that day out of order is that what they said you know. so yeah okay um, what else uh on uh, someone's web page See, it says 53.9 kilometers and 2,400 meters elevation gain. So, gee, that's that's very high. Yeah. A lot of climbing. All right. So, that's the uh, my heart rate during the day. 135, similar. Similar zone, my average to the past Ultra. But except this time, I was, uh, I guess, a little bit quicker on the feet. I practice a lot of heels. So yeah, that uh, paid dividends. 187, uh, maximum heart rate. Uh, pacing, this one, uh, this one's not very accurate. Also this one, because this is a pedo my watch. I'm using a pedometer or something. Just after this one. All right, and uh, what else? What, uh, okay, oh yeah. And this is the elevation. So 782 meters, the first hill. Then you got this one and this one. It's 776 or 778. 778. So yeah. So it matches with the uh, the guy's uh, post on Facebook, this one. So uh, yeah, it's roughly 2,400 elevation gain. Ooh, I didn't realize that. That's a major climb. Maybe Mount Halcon, somewhere there. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Can't believe it. I can still climb very well. Yeah. And uh, I think I reached the first cut, uh, first loop. I did, uh, I think, 90 minutes. All right. And I was like three kilometers, two kilometers, three kilometers ahead of every cutoff. So I was asking some guys on the course who was wearing a GPS on them. And that's how I got to uh, work out my pacing. So uh, the minimum required is about 4 kph on this course for you to reach the cutoff. For, so that's how I just worked it. So I just added uh, 4 kilometers on top of every hour. And if uh, the guy next to me tells me, oh, we're somewhere in this distance, and if I'm uh, way ahead, three kilometers ahead, and I know I'm, I'd be comfortable with my pace. So yeah, I just kept going that way. So yeah, that was it. So that was the strategy I uh, used on race day, and uh, yeah, I finished for the very first time. Super happy. Okay, that's all. <laughs>